I'm Felicia. I'm Felicia Brown. Felicia Brown. Access to what hot stars right now. I'm Felicia Brown, and your entertainment news alert starts right now. I'm it off at number five. Paul Hogan's son is facing some serious jail time. Any regrets on the Don Iman no. issue? No, no, no regrets at all. I think that it was a joke, and I think that uh, people that that know me understand me, and people that don't won't anyway. Here is a look at what our college partners at the Palestra.net. Many people are asked to donate their time, others are asked to donate their money, but stars are donating their fame this presidential election. Actress Natalie Portman stopped by the University of Cincinnati today to get college students out to vote. So how important is it to really um, go out and speak to young students, and you just spoke at the University of Cincinnati? Well, it's really exciting because the youth has really been energized by Barack Obama. And so to see people so passionate, it's so exciting to be at a rally where people are there in love. You know? To a very sad story right now, the mother of the rapper Kanye West, Donna West, has been pronounced dead at the age of 58. This popular as any pro athlete, our star, selling out concerts every week. Why should young voters select you in this upcoming election? We got challenges like climate change, our national debt, paying for college. None of those challenges we're going to solve with the same kind of politics. We need a new kind of politics. That's what this campaign represents. And I think young people uh, are naturally going to gravitate to somebody who wants to transform uh, how politics works in this country. Nick Cannon and Cal Penn has done it. Again. I can tell you this much that Senator Barack Obama presidential campaign is really bringing in some star power. Yes, the secret is out. American Idol judge Randy Jackson is in the tri state. My other advice that you give to any young people under the age of 20 since you work with a lot of youth on diabetes and not being insecure about that. This year, CNN traveled to some of the country's most well-known HBCUs and held a campus eye reporter contest. Fans were challenged to create their own videos about what it means to be black in America. For many black youth, it can be a struggle confronting issues that you face on a day-to-day -day basis. So what better way to get to the heart of the issues affecting the young black generation of America than going one-on-one -on -one what generation Standing in front of the White House at the Supreme Home of President elect Barack Obama, I spent this weekend in Washington, D.C. speaking to celebrities about the outcome of November 4th. Here, number one, Ezon Pitt goes to Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. The Pitt Foundation has made a $2 million donation to the Global Health Committee to establish a center to aid children affected by tuberculosis and HIV. Former Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker and celebrity club DJ AM are expected to make a full recovery after a plane... <laughs> person and that she's into uplifting other women and to feel and to, to react to the world the way she is. I think it's really important because I was raised by a really strong woman and I thought it was important for me to be here because I have four sisters and I'm the fifth sister so I really believe in providing women with a lot of confidence and I feel honored to be here and that Gucci is a part of an event like this. Well I think it's great. It's great for Gucci. It's great for Trump Tower. We're very happy about it. So we want to be the positive influence that lets them know that they can do anything and everything that they aspire and that anything they put their mind to. And this is the beginning of Fawn being a very successful foundation all over the world for women. And I mean, what better way to celebrate it than, combine, than to combine with Gucci? You know, this is our spot. This is where we shop, most of us. So I'm just proud. 